In this video, I will cover a common failure that we see across DD13s and DD15s. No engine lasts forever, but how we operate and maintain the engine will directly impact its longevity. It is critical to properly maintain oil, coolant, fuel, and proper duty cycles. Higher duty cycles or increased horsepower will increase all engine wear factors. Hello guys, I'm Adam with TAT Express and I'm an ASC certified heavy duty diesel technician. And on this channel, we cover everything about semi trucks. Here at TAT Express, we are professionals built on integrity who strive for excellence. If you'd like to schedule an appointment, you can call us at 972 225 3017. We are located here in Dallas, Texas at 4140 Langdon Road, Dallas, Texas 75241. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so that you're notified when we go live or when we release another video. If you'd like to share your experience, leave it in the comments below. Let's get right into this video. We received this DD13 with a low power complaint. We conducted our initial inspection and interviewed the driver. During our initial test, we found low compression on cylinder number five. We recommended a valve adjustment and retest to see if there was an increase in the cylinder compression. After our adjustments, the cylinder compression did not increase. The next step is to open the engine to inspect the liner's condition. Many factors may cause this scuffing and all factors should be considered to conduct a proper repair. The factors to consider are improper air fuel ratio caused by a boost leak, a plugged air filter, or an improperly fueling injector. Overheating will also cause the piston to expand and cause scuffing. Not enough oil to lubricate the piston can be due to poor oil quality, incorrect oil, oil dilution, or low oil pressure. Excessive idling. Excessive idling is considered a severe duty cycle, which will increase all wear factors. During the teardown, we found signs of scuffing on cylinder kit number five. This type of scuffing on both sides is called thrust anti-thrust scuffing. This means the thrust side of the piston, which is the exhaust side, and the anti-thrust side, which is the intake side of the piston, are both scuffed. It can be challenging to find a root cause of failure, especially if the shop does not have a long history of servicing the unit. We know that this cylinder kit has failed, so we're gonna do a complete overhaul with a newly redesigned liners that incorporate carbon scrapers on the top of the liner to prevent this from happening. We will also replace the piston connection rod and recommend a set of new injectors for this build. We noticed that the top of number five piston had a different spray pattern and signs of excessive unburnt fuel. Replacing the injectors with this new overhaul will ensure a quality build and as long as proper maintenance and duty cycles are met, this engine should keep the operator on the road for many miles to come. So what exactly can you do to avoid this from happening to your engine? Keep in mind the wear factors and mainly how we operate and maintain the engine will directly impact the engine's longevity. Updated designs like the carbon scraper will help prevent scuffing like this. So if you're experiencing excessive oil consumption, low compression, high crankcase pressure, or smoke coming from the crankcase breather assembly, high wear metals in your oil analysis report, white or blue smoke, but keep in mind the after treatment system may reduce the visibility of smoke, higher fuel consumption, after treatment failure, or low horsepower. Have your unit checked out. And if you'd like to schedule an appointment with TAT Express, you can call us at 972-225-3017. We are located at 4140 Langdon Road, Dallas, Texas 75241. Well, I hope this video was informative. If you like the content, be sure to subscribe to the channel so you're notified when we release another video or when we go live. If you'd like to share your experience with your DD13 or 15, leave it in the comments below. Guys, thanks for watching and until next time, be safe.